learning objectives. Number one is to illustrate a normal random variable and its characteristics. Number two, construct a normal curve. And three, solve problems involving standard nor normal distribution. Okay, data can be distributed or spread out in different ways. It can be spread out more on the left or more on the right, or it can be all jumbled up. But there are many cases where the data tends to be around the central value with no bias left or right. And it gets close to a normal distribution like this. Okay, so we have bell curve. The bell curve is also known as the normal distribution. It is often called a bell curve because it looks like a bell. Okay, so the bell curve is a normal distribution. And the yellow here is histogram. It shows some data that follows it closely, but not perfectly, which is useful. All right. What is normal distribution? A normal distribution is a special type of density curve that is bell-shaped. And for this reason, the normal distribution is sometimes called the bell curve or the, no the normal curve. So the normal distribution describes the tendency for data to cluster around the central value. In fact, the central value is the population mean, where mean is located at the center, which is always located or located in the middle of the curve. So for any normal distribution, we can say that some data points will fall below the mean and other data points will fall above the mean. But most of the data values are located near the near the mean. Okay. So we have the properties of the normal distribution. The normal distribution curve is bell shaped. The mean, median, mode are equal and located at the center of the distribution. A normal distribution curve is unimodal. So when we say unimodal, it has only one mode. The curve is symmetrical about the mean. Okay, mean po yan ha? Mean po yan. Okay, mean, which is equivalent to saying that its shape is the same on both sides of a vertical line passing through the center. And last, the total area under the curve is equal to 1 or 100%. So this fact may seem unusual since the curve never touches the x-axis, but one can prove it mathematically by using calculus. So balikan natin. The properties of the normal distribution. The normal distribution curve is bell-shaped. Or tinatawag din natin itong bell curve. So this one. Hindi lang perfect yung pagkagawa natin. No? And dito class, sa gitna, sa middle, matatagpuan yung uh, mean, median, and mode. Okay, yan yung ating central uh, measures of central tendency. Yan mean, median, mode. And, okay, so if mean and mode are equal, so which means if, if we have one mean, also we have one mode. That is unimodal. And the curve is symmetrical about the mean, which is equivalent, okay, Symmetrical no, sa, sa ating mean or doon sa center, di ba? Kung ano yung itsura niya, doon sa left, ay ganun din yung itsura niya sa right. And the total area under the curve is equal to 1 or 100%. Okay? Ang area nito class is 1 or 100%. Now class, kung symmetric siya pagdating sa center, okay, so... Yung area natin pagdating sa center, papunta sa uh, negative infinity, we have 0 0.5. And also, from center going to positive infinity, we have also 0 0.5. Okay? Yan yung area, no? Kapag hinati natin doon sa, sa 
sender. Uh, since symmetric naman sila, so equal yan, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. For a total of 1 or 100%. Okay, and the curve never touches the x-axis. So examples of random variables that closely follow a normal distribution include the heights of people in a given population, the weights of newborn infants in the Philippines, the IQs of senior high school students, the actual weights of 16-ounce packages of cereals, the advertising expenditure of firms, the rate of return on an investment, and so on. So we have also called the standard normal distribution. Standard normal distribution is a normal distribution that has mean zero and standard deviation one. It is denoted by N, zero comma one. Okay, zero is mean, standard deviation is one. So when we say standard deviation, standard deviation is a measure of how spread out numbers are. So dito class, uh, tuturo ko muna sa'yo before we proceed to uh, solve problems involving standard normal distribution. So, tuturo ko muna sa inyo, class, kung paano uh, tumingin sa table ng mga area or probability. So, this one. Uh, class, download kayo nito, no? Ng ating standard normal table para sa pagkuha ng area or probability under the normal curve. Basahin natin, class. Entries in the table give the area under the curve between the mean and Z, standard deviations above the mean. For example, for Z is 1.25, the area under the curve between the mean, which is 0, and located at the center, and Z is, ayun Z natin kanina, 1.25, is 0 0.3944. So, paano tayo nagkamap sa answer na 0 0.3944? So, sinabi dyan sa example, pinakita kung paano kunin, no? Yung area, yan. Pinakita yung area class. Kung ano yung area or probability, which is yung value ng Z natin, ay nagre-range from 0 to 1.25. Okay? So, since class, ang ginamit natin table ay magsisimula palagi sa 0. So, yung 1.25 class, Ang titingnan niyo dito sa ano sa table paano ba titingnan yung 1.25 Okay separate niyo yung yung 5 sa dulo Okay yung butal na hundreds yung butal na hundreds di ba 1.25 yung butal na hundreds dito niyo siya makikita sa row Okay, yung 1.2, yung whole number, tsaka yung tens, yung 1.2, dito naman, sa rows. Okay, so kunin nyo class yung intersection ni 1.2 at tsaka ni 0 0.05. Intersection ni 1.2 tsaka ni 0 0.05, we have 0 0.39. Okay, which ibig sabihin ng class, ang area, ang area from 0 to 1.25 ay 0 0.3944. Since ang gamit nating table ay magsisimula palagi sa 0, so kung nung nakita natin doon sa 1.25, yun na yung area niya. Okay? Example tayo. So letter A. Okay, probability of Z, ano siya babasahin? Probability of Z greater than or equal to 0 but less than or equal to 1.63. Plus, gawa muna kayo ng normal distribution curve or normal curve. Probability of Z greater than or equal to 0 but less than or equal to 1.63. So, gawa kayo ng normal curve class. So, yung center natin, dito nakalocate yung 0. Dito nakalocate yung mean. Okay, mean is 0. Alright, mean is 0. So, ang pinag-uusapan natin dito is standard normal distribution. And we have 1.63. Let's say natitin 1.63. So, ito yung hahanapin natin class. Yung area niya. Yan. So, class, tingnan nyo class. Uh, yung value na yung natin dyan is 1.63. So, kunin nyo yung intersection ni 1.6 at ni 0.03. So, we have 
Okay, so we have 0 0.4484. Again, class, yung 0 0.4484 ay nagsimula yun sa 0. Okay, so nagkataon dun sa given natin. 0 0.4484 or 44.84 so letter B, probability of Z less than 1.24. So again, class, kuha tayo ng uh, normal curve. Probability of Z less than 1.24. Okay. So example, nandito yung 1.24, no? Z is less than 1.24. So ano ba yung mga numbers? Ano ba yung mga value ng Z na less than 1.24? Yung ba, yung, yung ba yung mga nasa left ni 1.24 or yung ba yung mga nasa right ni 1.24? Pag-shade natin plus, yung pag-shade natin ay nasa kaliwa ni 1.24. Okay? So, nasa kaliwa ni 1.24. So, tandaan nyo lang plus, kapag less than, ang shade ay nasa kaliwa ng value ng Z. Kapag greater than naman, nasa kanan. Okay, so hanapin natin ang area niyan. So first thing first, tingnan muna natin kung ano yung area ni 1.24 na manggagaling kay 0. Okay, so 1.24, tingnan yung intersection ni 1.2 tsaka ni 0 0.04. Okay, 0 0.3925. Okay, 0 0.3925. Ito klasa ako na yung intersection ni 1.2 tsaka ni 0 0.04. Okay, the question is, Saan magsisimula yung 0 0.3925 plus? Sa 0, di ba? Kasi yun ang ginamit nating table. Okay? So, di, hanggang dito lang yun. Ito lang yung 0 0.3925 na yan. Yan. 0 0.3925 ay nasa pagitan lang ni 0 at ni 1.24. Plus, matanong yung class, paano naman yung nasa left ni 0? Anong area niyan? Paano naman to class? Yang nasa left ni 0, this one. Paano yan? Ano to? Kung babalikin nyo yung properties ng ating uh, normal curve. Di ba symmetric siya sa mean? Ano yung total area? Ang total area is 1. Since symmetric siya, doon sa center, so kapag uh, kukunin natin yung area, no? from center, going to negative infinity, dito, ang area niya is 0.5 Alright, 0.5 Para makuha yung total area So add natin yung dalawang area Okay, so 0 0.3925 Plus 0 0.5 Magyan natin 0 We have 0 0.8925 Or 89.25 Percent the region under the standard normal curve associated with the probability of Z less than 1.24 is shown below. We have here the area is required. The area required is equal to the sum of this area and this area. Okay? So we have 0 0.8925 or 89.25%. So, proceed tayo sa letter C. Probability of Z greater than 0 0.5. Probability of Z greater than 0 0.5. So, greater than. So, greater than plus nasa right side ni Z. Kung baga, yung mga value ng Z na greater than 0 0.5 as uh, 0 0.5 ay nasa right ni Z. Nasa right is 0 0.5. Okay. So, hunapin mo natin yung area ng 0 0.5. Hintay sa table. 0 0.5. Ano yung area dyan, class? 0 0.5. 0 0.1915. Okay. 0 0.1915. Dito, ito. Ito yung 0 0.5. So, class, yung 0 0.1915, again, mag-i-start palagi yun sa 0. Okay? Since ito yung table na ginagamit natin. Always mag-i-start yan sa 0. Okay? So, 0 0.1915, 0 0.1915, 0 0.1915, 0 0.1915, 0 0.1915, 0 0.1915, 0 0.1915, 0 0.1915, 0 0.1915, 0 0.1915, 0 0.1915, 0 0.1915, 0
Nasaan yung 0.1915? Okay, di ba? Ito yung 0.1915. Itong part na yan. 0.1915. Kaya lang, class, ang tanong is, ang hinahanap natin yung area ay yung greater than 0.5. So, paano natin kunin yun? Okay, subtract sa 0.5. Bakit 0.5? Kasi... Ang kalahate ay 0.5 mula dun sa center. Okay? So, 0.5 minus 0.1915. Okay, 3085. Okay? So, we have 0.3085 or 30.85%. Letter D, probability of Z greater than 0.24 but less than 1.48. Probability of Z greater than 0.24, but less than 1.48. So, gawa natin siya ng normal curve. 0. So, let's say nandito yung 0.24. Ito naman yung 1.48. Okay, kunin natin yung area yan sa pagitan ng dalawang Z, value ng Z. So, una muna class, na natin yung muna yung area ni 0.24. Namang mumula doon sa 0. 0.24. Ano siya? Okay, 0.0948. So, yung 0.0948, again, mag-start yun sa 0, ang area. Okay? So, ito yung ating 0.0948. Okay, next class, hanapin nyo naman yung area ni 1.48. Okay, we have, okay, 43.06. So, yung 0.4306, again, mag-start yun sa 0. So, ito yung part na yun. Yung 0.4306 na yan. Mula sa 0 hanggang kay 1.48. Kaya ng class, ang hinaharap natin ay yung, yan, nasa pagitan lang ni 0.24 at saka ni 1.48. So, paano ang gagawin natin dyan? So, so subtract natin yung area ni 0.24 na nagmula sa 0 doon sa area ni 1.48 na nagmula sa 0. Okay, so we have 0.4306 plus 0.0948. Okay, 33.58%. Or 33.58%.